there's a place on your plate right here that belongs to Goya. Quick, delicious. You might remember these ads from the 1980s. Goya. Oh, Goya! Goya has since become the nation's largest Hispanic-owned food company, with an estimated $1.7 billion a year in sales. Well, we're expanding the whole distribution facility. But talk to the brothers who run it, and they say they haven't even served the main course. Our dream is to have Goya products in every store, on every table across America. Every across store. The, every store and every home. Lofty plans from humble beginnings. The company was formed in New York City in 1936 by a Spanish immigrant named Prudencio Unanue Ortiz, who thought his name was too hard to pronounce. So that same year, Unanue bought the name Goya from a Moroccan sardine manufacturer for one dollar. Goya Foods was born and grew quickly, but not without struggles. The supermarkets at that time didn't want to recognize the Latino community, kind of didn't want that element in their stores. Bob Unanue is Prudencio's grandson and Goya's current president. You know, what a lot of people feel is when an immigrant comes into this country, they'll soon switch over to American cuisine, hot dogs and, and hamburgers and things like that. But food is a deep tradition for most immigrants. And that's what makes the brand and our cuisine so powerful to the immigrant community, is that tie to homeland and cuisine. But we say among Latinos, we're united by language and separated by the bean. Everybody has their favorite bean. Which is why Goya offers some 40 kinds of beans. It says pinto beans are preferred by those of Mexican heritage. Puerto Ricans like the pink variety. Dominicans enjoy Roman beans. Add to that white beans, red kidney beans, more than 2,000 products in all. Black beans are what celebrity chef Alex Garcia of New York City's Copacabana Supper Club prefers when he cooks up his signature dish, pabellon criojo, served in a distinctive way. It's a dish original of Venezuela, and it really combines uh, shredded beef, rice and beans cooked together. We really want to showcase the Latino culture, and no, nothing does it better than a can of Goya. Unlike other suppliers, Goya delivers directly to stores. With distribution plants nationwide, there are no middlemen. How do the prices differ between a mom and pop store and a big chain store? They're the same. We've always had the same pricing policy. That's but, unusual. Yeah, but it's fair. We service customers everywhere. We Bob and Peter Unanue have been running the company since 2004, when a messy family dispute boiled over. Some wanted Goya to go public. Bob and Peter prefer to stay private. They won. We've always looked at the long term. And if an investment looks good for the company in the long run, we're going to do it. Hispanic population in the U.S. right now is 16 percent. By 2050, it'll be 30 percent, a near doubling. What does that mean for you? That means you want to stay private. <laughs> Staying private and very profitable. <laughs>